Dudes, welcome back to the first video of 2021. Well, at least I think this is going to be the first. Uh, I've been down in the South Island for like two weeks, or I've been away from the river for at least two weeks. I haven't really been fishing. I've just been chilling with family and stuff. Um, but it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, and I decided to come out, see if we can't. It's more to take Nala for a walk. I've got Nala with me. See if we can't catch a fish. Uh, and hopefully it's a brown trout. This is the time of year where they, they really start turning up. I've heard reports that there's quite a few in here, so. With a bit of luck we'll be able to find one of those. Uh, when I left when I left Taupo it was nice and sunny and everything looked good. Now once I'm here it's just like 40 minutes south of where I live. There's a bit of cloud, wind's getting up. It actually looks like it might even rain, which is what it was forecast for. But I thought we had a weather window, thought I'd give it a go. Anyway, we're here now. Let's see how we get. Yeah, so like I was saying, I've been down in the South Island for a week and I haven't really been I haven't fished at all for quite some time. I've been taking a bit of a break. Uh, but I'm pretty keen to get get back into it catch a fish with three it is january and there's lots of cicadas around in topo i can't don't really hear as many down here uh, and the water is up and dirty a little bit it did we get a lot of we got a big rain event go through parts of the south island got completely flooded and screwed up and then it, when i was driving back last night uh everything was flooded on my way back up here so there's a little bit of extra water around but I am going to tie on a cicada because it's January and I want to. They should be eating them. I haven't, like last season we didn't have a good cicada year. I think I caught a handful of fish on cicadas. Um, so I'm really hoping for a good season this year because it's so much fun fishing a cicada. If you don't know what a cicada is, it's a big bug. Crawls out of the ground, climbs a tree, hatches, looks something similar to that. That's a category three wumpfer. Uh, it does the trick really really well so i got to then I'm down to a dropper quite a long dropper down to a pole position now the next part i did bring a six weight as well which i'm going to set up to nymph and i probably will nymph this deep water out here but first i'm going to cruise up this inside edge uh, and see if i can see a brown because this is this edge here normally holds quite a few like i say i have lost the sun so it's not going to be as easy to see them and with this kind of colored up water but with a bit of luck a smidge of luck we'll find one perfect conditions to get one to eat if they are around it's kind of clearing river don't think they've had a lot of pressure yet anyway so there's a six weight there i'm going to leave that there walk up this hill walk up this river just a smidge see what we can't find a smidgy widgy god i wish the sun would come back out well the sun was out the whole way here all the way and then it just disappeared. Can't see jack shit. Come on, son, come out. Come out, son. Just thinking about it. All right, I'm just going to biff this cicada around in some likely, some likely bits. Fish. up there in those shallows it's not a brown it's a nice rainbow though i'll take it i'll take it come here fish Nala, shush. She's harmless if she comes down. Nala's just barking at some other anglers. Come here, fish. Man, this fish is strong. Super strong. Come here. How you going, bro? Oh, you got a dog too. Cool. Nice little silver fish. I'm actually quite happy to catch that, especially on a dry dropper up in those shallows that most people would walk past. Took that pole position. Nice fish. All right, see, you buddy.
all right so that's cool i was i'm quite happy to catch that guy blind fishing little lightweight nymph right up in the shallows most people would definitely walk past that so yeah cool 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 the rod i just caught that fish on was uh five weight 7x the new loop rod well, it's been out for about a year but they're, they're both new to me and so i'm just now stringing up the six weight version mid curve mid fast or mid fast rather which i have not fished yet so pretty excited to st string this thing up and have a go really they're really beautiful looking rods and they've i don't know if the gopro is going to show this shape but they're kind of ribbed longitudinally if that's a word longitudinally it's probably not you know what i mean so they're ribbed the ribs run this way and that's all to do with rod tracking accuracy all that good stuff i'll learn more about it and uh figure it out for myself better about how, how that affects the cast and how that affects your fishing and everything before i comment completely on it um but so far in the five weight version i'm loving it i'm just going to do a new leader i'm going to put a completely new leader on this rod because i haven't fished this reel in ages so this leader is going to be quite old so you guys ever wondering about what leader i use this is pretty much what i use mostly year round sometimes i'll go to a 15 foot one if i'm doing depending on where in the country i am uh and sometimes i won't use the tape leader at all during the winter i'll build my own level line leader um, but this is pretty much my go-to 12 foot 6 pound 6.4 pound rio power flex and to the end of that i'm adding a couple of feet not many about not sure how long that is about that long of six pound sight free it's the airflow sight free and this knot i think it's called a blood knot surgeon's knot triple surgeons yeah that's what it is triple surgeons just like that now for the classic 101 another few feet off the hook bend of six pound fluoro down to another pole position does anybody else take their dog fishing and do they do that just try to climb up yeah or is that just my dog here yeah, fishy 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 here yeah, fishy 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 Oh, that was a fish, dang. Found one. Don't think it was a brown, but I prefer to, I prefer to pig all the fish. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. So there's a chance I'm a bit light going through all of that. I'm probably gonna add a little piece of split shot. Fish. Big fat rock. I really thought that was a fish. Yeah, was another fish. I missed it. What the hell? All right, so I've just missed two fish, right in the same spot too, right where they should be. Oh, well, I'm going to get another, any more chances than that in here. There's obviously a little pocket of them sitting in that hole. This is the, the third one I've hooked from that exact spot. Yeah, look how pretty that thing is. It's really big. It's a good fight for a fish of that size. Quite skinny actually, but really pretty colours. What do you reckon, Nala? What do you reckon? It's gonna bite you. See you buddy. Right, so I'm just gonna really slowly cruise up this edge because so 
sometimes there's fish right on this inside. Well, I just spooked one right, right on the inside. Me or not with it anyway. But I like impossible to see in here. This is going to be a good little spot for. Oh, is that one? Oh, I think I'm looking at one. I am. All right. Yeah, it's got him. Oh, wow. Dang. Oh. oh, my God. I can't believe it. That's horrible. Why did they not pull through? Oh, my leader knot got stuck in the rod tip. I straight lined the rod at it. It should have come out. Oh, that hurts so bad. Should have moved my feet. Should have went towards them. Should have done a lot of things. Am I going to get another opportunity like that? Well, that's fishing, eh? Like, that just, oh, that one stings real bad. Ooh. It's a bit deeper than I thought it was. Okay. All right, we got across. I was charged to cross that. It's always interesting when you come back to a, a familiar river, but you haven't crossed. Like, I haven't been across here for quite some time. Probably a year. Haven't made that crossing. Every time you come back, it's changed, of course. So it can be a little bit, a little bit scary. But we made it. Oh, man. What have I caught? Two rainbows. Lost a good brown. Lost another couple of hopefully rainbows I just want to really want to catch brown so sometimes on the way up here like that there you go there's one all right so I found another fish this fish is ridiculously shallow like his back's nearly out of the water so that's the length of my dropper it's real short Spooked it. Perfect. Oh, I love this fishing stuff. It's just so relaxing. It's just so good. Try and find another one, I suppose. God, I'm getting plenty enough opportunities. Many enough opportunities. Yep, got him. Nice fish too. Please stay on, please stay on. Man, that took a couple of casts. You fishy. Stay in. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here, fishy. I don't know. Don't go over there. Stay here, fishy. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he 
Here fish, just relax, relax fish. Don't brain yourself. Oh, this is a way better fish than it looked in the water. This guy is in no water. Holy crap, oh, stoked. That's what I came down here for. Look. Just relax fish. Look at that thing. All right, so I was starting to get a little bit discouraged. Had a few good opportunities, lost that good fish. Uh, but more than made up for it with with this guy. Stoked, that's first Tongariddle Brown of the year. So good to be back on these guys. Look forward to it every year. I'm gonna let this guy go now. Super happy to catch him. Awesome. Stoked, really happy to catch that. I was getting pretty disheartened. Haven't been doing a lot of fishing for a while. Been kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll let you know someday, but it's good to be back on the water. It's really good to be out with Nala. Happy to catch a brown trout. All right, I'm just nymphing up a uh, blind storm. Normally this pool has got quite a few um, quite a few you can see in it, but it's got none that I can see. Wow, that was a terrible cast. I thought this bit here was going to be loaded with fish, but there's just does not appear to be that much around. Fish. Be a brown. Be a brown. Be a brown. It's not a brown, but it's a fish. Come here. Leave it. Nala, leave it. Oh, I missed it. Good girl. Yep, just a fish. Back it up. Nice little rainbow. Just a little guy. See you later. <laughs> there it goes. Why'd you have to punch it? Why did you punch it, Nala? Dudes, thank you so much for watching this video up until now. Uh, if you have watched till now, the bonus entry into a competition that I announced like three or four months ago, I did say that if we got to 50,000 subscribers inside 2020 I would give away a trip for someone a subscriber from either New Zealand or Australia to come fish with me for a couple of days and a couple of nights accommodation fly you out here that's what I mean fly you to my locale fish a couple of days accommodation uh, yeah so we got almost 57,000 subscribers so we we smashed it we got there which I'm super happy about thank you so much for the support um, so what you have to do to enter that competition, this is a little bonus entry because not many people are going to watch this video this far through, is all you have to do is comment where you're from. So comment the city in New Zealand or Australia where you're from and uh, you're in the draw. I will announce it in another couple of videos just to get the word out there because um, I forgot to do it essentially. Uh, but this is a little bonus entry. So that's what you got to do. I'm going to run the same competition inside 2021 for 100,000 subscribers, and that is open to anybody in the world. So get subscribing, like the video, comment, share, do all that good stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I can see in the analytics that so many of you guys keep coming back and watching, but you're not subscribed. So do me a huge favor. I really would appreciate if you just click the subscribe button while you're there, ring the bell, and uh, get all the notifications turned on. That'd be super cool if you could do that for me. So as for the video, super happy to get that brown trout on my first trip out, really looking for them when they should be there. Um, yeah, stoked on that. I have just finished fishing today and I do get another one. There is a video coming of that. Um, but I love that river this time of year. I think I said that in the video. It's such, it's just really good fun. They're really hard fish to catch. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff and I'll catch all of you in the next video. Peace.